everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm not sure why it is so bright. Oh, there we go, my camera finally adjusted. But we are doing, we are looking at Eric Worre, or how I personally always call him in my head, Eric Hori. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that, you know, the censors don't catch me swearing in like, you know, the first few minutes in. Bastards. Ah, shit. Ah, sh fuck. Oh, for God's sakes. You listen, I, I got a story, but that's going to be a story time video about when I was in, uh, I wanted to say Dubai, uh, Dublin. See, it's almost close, kind of. They're so far away. And one is not as hot as the other. And I hope the other one has street signs. Oh my God. Again, this is not what we're doing. Apparently, we're going to listen to Eric Worre talk about, is it harder for women in network marketing? And I'm just like, I hate this guy so much. He's, uh, I really should do a list of, you know, people, you know, I, I, I want to put on Punchable Face magazine. Anyways, we'll get on to this right now. And hopefully he has a fast talker or I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, wait, wait, I can fix that. Never mind. Hello, hello, hello. Eric Boy here. Happy Tuesday. And whether you're watching live or replay, I want to welcome you to the broadcast today. And listen, I want to chat with you about what might be a politically charged question. And that question is, is it... A man talking about women's shit. It's always a politically charged. And of course, I feel like he's going to come at this as a very... um. Boomer? I want to say boomer attitude. You know, like that old school, you know, mentality. You know what I mean? You know, 1950s, you know, America. It's harder for women in network marketing. Is it harder? Do men have it easier? Do women have it easier? Are there advantages? Are there disadvantages? Are there unique challenges um, for women in the network marketing space. Um, I'm going to talk about that today. And I also want to, uh, over the course of this broadcast, I want to give away some free things. So uh, those of you who are commenting, I'm going to be checking the comments. And first thing I'm going to give away is my soul. Uh, I have a course called Social Media Mastery. It's a $500 course. I'm going to give away five Social Media Mastery courses uh, over the course of this broadcast. Now, all you need to do in order to be able to earn one of those is you need to put into the comments right now, where are you connecting from? What's your city, state, region, country? Where are you connecting from? Into the comments. And my team is going to pick five people. This seems very familiar. I think I've seen this with Dan Locke a couple of times. And it, it, this is kind of sad. I actually almost bought into Dan Locke. I'm so sorry, guys. I almost did. And then... Of course, being a Vancouverite, you know, you hear a few things through the, you know, Asian communities and they're like, oh, he's scammer. He's scammer. Thank you. Don't invest with him. <laughs> but this is giving me the same kind of vibes. And then what that guy from the 90s who, have, you know, look at my water fountain. Look at my pool where it's then showing off the, the, the skinny models. Look at my yacht. It smells like cat piss, but I got it on good deal. I don't know. And from this group, over the next five minutes, they're going to pick five people, and they're going to give give you a free social media mastery course. Um, so, throw that into the comments. I want to get the comments cranking up because I want to ask the women who are connected to this broadcast today what your thoughts are. What your thoughts are when it comes to female entrepreneurship. I have my opinions, but I'm a guy. My opinions on female entrepreneurship. Go get your bag, girl. I personally don't know what it means, but apparently I think that's what the cool language is nowadays. But, you know, just do it. Like, history is filled with a bunch of female entrepreneurs that didn't join multi marketing companies. Like, really, you know. Uh, technically, I'm an entrepreneur right now. I'm actually working on uh, new sets of the the skin 
things that I use for myself because apparently people are actually interested in them. You know? And if you want them, I'm working on emerald green. I'm not sure where the... Yeah, I'm working on a cotton emerald green. Um, it might not look like this, you know, when you get it because of the lighting and everything, but it's kind of like a nice emerald green. Um, uh, how do I describe it? I want to describe it more. It, I feel like it's a bit more blue. I, I, I'm one of those color people, so. And my piss off is I love the coral color. But when they, they seem to, you know, be infrequent with dyes. So, you know, I'll get this and then there's ones that are darker. And I'm like, come on, guys, I want to have, you know, a dye lot. But yeah, no, female entrepreneurs, uh, my parent, mom, mom, she's great. I, I, I think I can consider her an entrepreneur since she had a few things, you know. She didn't join a multi-level marketing company. Uh, they just happened to, you know, luck out with getting a business that turns like over $4 million a year, just in auto repairs. I think my parents still own 51% of it. Congratulations, I wish I had a share in that shit. Got a share in some of the other shit. But I've gotta get my shit together or I won't get that shit when they die. Anyways, let's get back to the marketing shit. I think your perspective is different. <laughs> than any guy's perspective could ever be. So in the, in the pursuit of seeking understanding. And I just, just, just remembered something when I was talking with Sergey. Uh, men should not get involved in women's issues. This is a Russian guy who grew up in the Soviet Union. We got eight years, 15 years difference. This is the guy I want to marry. And he's like, men should not get involved in women's issues. It should be women politically doing it, which I think is a good, good, good man. You're not going to get smacked. He's very uh, forward, you know. I think that's from the Soviet Union. It's, it's, it's weird. Okay. What would you say is one of the biggest challenges women face in building an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial venture and specifically inside network marketing. What's, what's one of the biggest challenges that you think is specific to women? I'd like to see that in the comments. What are some of the biggest challenges that you think are specific to women? Um, <clears throat> Elise says, I think, I think some women might think so, but men treat it more like a hobby than a real job. Uh, that might be true. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's, if it's um, an issue uh, specific to women, but maybe. Uh, Pam Osborne says, not believing in themselves. Um, that could be a Liz myth. says, women are more emotional than men. I'd like to... Uh, uh, Joy says, I think it's easier for women. Okay. <clears throat> Aisha? Aisha? Uh, she says, it's easier to, uh, for men when it comes to, to entrepreneurship. I'd be interested in, in your thoughts. Why? Why do you think? Um, hold on. The, the, the chat's going quick. Personally, I feel like men just have more credibility and are just able to establish more. I don't know why. I just feel like they have more authority when it comes to, you know, trying to get a bank loan and things like that, and trying to actually set up a business where women, we are always pushed aside. And if we say something, we're always labeled as that person or that woman. Uh, so I'm gonna, the challenge is being a mother. The challenge is being a mother. Women do build the household together, don't they? They hold the families together. They're kind of the glue that holds it all together. I think that's interesting. Kathy says not being taken seriously. Um, this person, this Facebook user, I think business has been taught in a masculine way. I think that's probably accurate. There's, there's female energy is, is unique and powerful. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm looking to comments, so just bear with me. Paris says, we talk too much in network marketing. <laughs> Alan says, I feel we can do it, but, but stupid, creepy guys always hitting on me and want to stop challenging. Uh, and, and she corrected that. Uh, Grace says, make a difference. Uh, family time. Posture is everything. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. 
Liz says, women face the lack of self-belief. I think that's a universal issue. Erica says, I'm a loner and have problems getting customers. Um, I think that's a universal issue, too. Um, <clears throat> competition. Some uh, co competing with other women. Some men feel intimidated with the success of women. Um, interesting. Getting their husbands on board. Who said that? I that scroll past too quick. <laughs> getting their husband on board. Martin says, the women I know outperform the men in my team. Uh, Pam says, feeling like we don't deserve success. Men think women in network marketing are just working on a small side hustle. I personally have many men hijack the business talk and turn it into a problem for a side hustle of their own, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. You know what's interesting? Um, and I'll get back to the comments. Is a good-looking woman in business has a unique circumstance because you know, normally they can keep distance from from um, the side hustle, you know, being hit on. They can have some distance there, but now they're in conversation with prospects, and those prospects say, "Oh, there's an opportunity. Yeah, I can even keep on it. Ooh, this is cool." So, but I would also say that, ladies, you've done a great job for your whole life of creating a boundary that says, "In the best I've seen inside of network marketing, let me move this way." Um, so I'm talking about this, is the best that I've seen, and I'm just going to use some of my observations with women in network marketing, is some of the strongest, they have this knack of, in the first 30 to 60 seconds, setting the tone. They talk with a guy, the guy's obviously enamored or attracted in some way, they can sense that immediately, and the strongest ones set a tone because you can either put a vibe out or you can you can put an anti vibe out. And that's not like a screw you. No, I don't want to drink. No, I don't want to dance. It's more like. Are we now getting dating advice from Eric Worre? Because that's what it's feeling like. And frankly, if a guy's hitting on me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use his feelings and get a fucking drink. It's all about me, bitch. Let me talk to you about business. Let me be really clear with you about this business venture we're going to talk about. And uh, and if they're in a relationship, they, they mention their significant other, whether it's you know boyfriend or or girlfriend or husband or whatever, and they mention that significant other in the first 60 seconds and they just set the tone. So smart women do that, I've noticed. Um, no, your husband, your fiance, um, your fun, fun roux. I'm going to put some of the other comments here. Annie says, yeah, the creepy guy thing is real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, guys, uh, we're simple creatures. I kind of don't like how he's playing the creepy guy thing off because that can get dangerous. I have been a former cam model and I've heard stories, a lot of them, and I've had friends who've witnessed shit happen too. So, you know, the creepy guy thing is real. The creepy guy thing is really real. So, I want to talk, I'm going to give you what, I got to find this right now. Turn off the creepy thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you some attributes that I've noticed from women inside of network marketing. Um, and I have the privilege of being able to work with some incredibly <laughs> strong women um, connected to the network marketing space. And they have found the balance between femininity and business. They found the balance between family and entrepreneurship. They found the balance between strength and being a part of a, a family structure. Um, they found the balance of supporting and working with their significant other without uh, demeaning or emasculating them or having them feel that way. They found the ability to communicate in powerful ways uh, and, and use their strengths in order to be able to build huge, massive organizations. 
So let me share with you, I want to share with you a couple of those things. But before I do that, before I share with you some of the attributes that I've seen from the most powerful women in network marketing, I've got to tell you, uh, if there was a three-day event just for women in network marketing, and it was delivered directly to your home, and you have a collection of the absolute rock stars, female rock stars in the network marketing universe, sharing their secrets to you, okay? If that existed, and if I could get you a ticket for free, would you attend? Put a yes in the comments if you... I think he's going to give away a ticket for this event of like a few women talking about shit. Also, here's Trotsky. Go back to bed, sweetie. I'm sorry. Who would attend if there was a three-day event just for women sharing all of their insights and strategies and secrets to building a large and successful network marketing business? How they would overcome every single obstacle that you could possibly imagine. And they'll give you the playbook. And I would get you a ticket for free. Would you attend? Put a yes in the comments if you would attend this event. That's question number one. Question number two, put a yes into the comments. If you would promote an event and you would let other women help other people get registered for this three-day event for free, <laughs> call the most powerful women in network marketing. If you would do that, some of you have already registered, but <laughs> May 14, 15. Oh, apparently we already got me. And 16. May 14th, 15th, and 16th. Okay, so coming up in what, six weeks, there's going to be that event. May 14th, 15th, and 16th. My wife, Marie, the most powerful woman in my, my world, has organized the most amazing lineup, three days. And for the first time ever, she's offering it for free. She's offering it for free for the first time ever. So let me give you a link. It's easy to remember. MPW. States for most powerful women, mpw2021.com. mpw2021.com is where you can register and where you need to make sure every woman in your organization is registered for this event. Deliver it's online, deliver it's going to come directly to your house. Now, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to give away for the next 24 hours 100. Home study courses. Let me pick which home study course to give away. Here's what I'm going to give away a home study course called Inside the Mind of Successful Network Marketing Women. I'm going to give that away to 100 people who register for this event today. Okay? This is nothing more than. A 23 minute like sales funnel video. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing that. Here is this video. We're going to talk about how it's harder for women in network marketing. I, and now we're talking about here's this event, blah, blah, blah. Like it's not really on topic, Eric. You know, stop making this a sales funnel. Because eventually those women are going to go into those free events and they're going to be offered other events that they're going to have to pay for. It's like the Dan Locke thing. And I'm going to give away another 100 randomly to people who've already registered. So my team can pull 100 people at random from people who've already registered. And anybody who registers in the next 24 hours, I'm going to give away another 100 of those home study courses just for registering today. So let me give you some of the, so some of the attributes that I've noticed. Okay, so uh, mpw2021.com. Let me give you some of the attributes that I've noticed. Number one, successful people, well, and not in any particular order, but I'm just going to give it to you randomly off the top of my head. Successful network marketing women don't apologize for their entrepreneurial dreams. They don't apologize for wanting to build a business. They don't apologize for their existence. I'm not saying they don't apologize and do something wrong, but they don't apologize for being wanting to be an entrepreneur. They put their shoulders back, they put their chat out, and they say, why not me? I'm going to go do this. Get on board. They're strong with it. They're kind, but they're also strong. 
in their um, posture. Number two, like I said, they set a business boundary with their team and with the men in you know that they're connected to, whether it's in their team or with prospects, that this is business. So they set up a posture with this. Three, what I've noticed is they're so much better at, than men at building real relationships. Building real relationships with other people. Connecting, asking questions, uh, uh, finding out what, what drives another person. They're so much better than men at that. We're, we're very tactical. Okay, well, how much money do you want to make? And how fast do you want to make? And all that other kind of stuff. And what the women will do in a genius way is they will say, how will that make you feel when you do that? What scares you on the way to making that happen? And they will help. They're, be- they're, they're in, many, in, in many ways a better coach because they can get into the emotional aspect of what drives a person. Really, really strong. The other thing they're incredibly good at is multitasking. They're really good at saying, okay, I'm going to do this with my family. I'm going to do this for myself. I'm going to do this for my business. And they're able to kind of keep these balls in the air where, at least myself, I, I, I won't say this for all men, but I, I, I would say for myself, um, I'm kind of one project at a time mentally. I got to lock in on that, do that, new project, lock in on that, do that, new project. Women are able to really get a lot of things done quickly. Um, they say that we're in a people business. The strong women, and I'm looking at some of the people that are going to be speaking at this most powerful women event, they're, they're all badasses, but they all lead with value and community. Unbelievable what they do inside of this. And the other thing, and I don't know if this is specific to women, but I will say this. Virtually every woman that I'm looking at on this list, um, at some point, somebody told them that they were not going to be successful. And that was all that was needed. They just said, oh, really? Oh, really? Watch me. Watch me. I'm going to go stick this in your face. I'm going to make you eat your words. I want you to write your words on a piece of paper, then I want you to put hot sauce on it, and then I want you to eat that piece of paper, Mr. or Ms. Has any of you, have any of you had somebody tell you that, that uh, you weren't going to be successful? They tell you never mark your business? Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Boy, show me a woman that's been, that's been put down that way, and I'll show you a woman that's going to absolutely light some stuff on fire and make some stuff happen through contribution, through growth, through personal development, through learning, through information. So those are just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you today. And uh, Marina and I, over the course of the next month, we're going to be doing regular lives and interviews uh, talking about and interviewing and talking to some of the most popular women, getting some different ideas. But here's what I would tell you. Um, events like this, Changed my whole business. Events like this changed my whole life. Figuring out ways to create shortcuts. Because if there was somebody who's built a huge network marketing business and has an amazing family with just incredible kids and figured out how to balance all that stuff, wouldn't you want to know how they did it? Wouldn't you want to know how they created great relationships with the men in their business, including their prospects, without the creepy thing happening? Wouldn't you want to know how they create supportive environments with their loved ones instead of combative uh, uh, environments with their loved ones? Wouldn't you want to know how they balanced all this stuff out? Wouldn't you want to know how they overcame the obstacles within their organization and their own limiting beliefs? Wouldn't you want to know that? Because, I mean, if somebody's learned something that I want to learn and they're like 10 years ahead of it, the best way to catch up is to have them come back to me and give me how they got to where they are. And that's what these women are going to do. And for the first time, Maria wants this to be the year of women. For the first time, Maria is <coughs> free. So, man, 
I mean, if you don't do it, it's kind of on you. Well, now he's guilt tripping us because if we don't want to join the event. Oh, it's free. Oh, I'm busy. We have lives, you dumb frack. Like, I feel like this guy is very sexist. Just the way the whole thing was presented. Felt very sexist, just talking down to women. I went to punch him in the face. Guess you gotta wait 10 years to figure this stuff out. Well, I gotta just look around. Well, I guess you gotta wait 10 years to figure this stuff out, I guess. And if that's what you wanna do, but time's not valuable to you. If you feel, feel like you got all the time in the world, then don't do it. But if you wanna go, you want this to be your year, do it this year. MPW2021.com. 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 Get registered. I'm going to be giving away you know, 100, 100 courses to people who registered today, 100 courses to people who registered in the past um, already. Uh, we know how to break the internet with this event. We're delivering it out of the huge studio. We got some big celebrities who are about to be announced. Big, big, big Hollywood. Big celebrities. about to be announced. And again, the event is great. MPW2021.com. Ladies out there and gentlemen, I uh, hope you have an amazing day and a spectacular week. And know that I am your friend. Marine is your friend. We're here to help you step into the full vision of your entrepreneurial dreams through network marketing. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. That was painful, actually. I don't like how he talked to the women. And I don't like how this turned into a gigantic sales funnel for a free event. I know it's free, but there is going to be some kind of catch and some kind of, you know, he's not your friend. He wants your money. So I hope you like this. Please subscribe. I would love to hear your commentary on this. Oh gosh. I really should just do a video of, you know, people I would love to punch in network marketing. I mean, it's not a threat. But if I could, and the purge was available, uh, yeah, you know. And some people, you know, I actually want to give them a pat on the back and then a punch. You know, a pat punch. Because some of it is like, you genius. But then it's, I want to punch them because I'm like, ah, the ethics of this. Because I, I I, I'm a, like a, a person who wants to be corrupt, but I'm work that fine line of, you know, not being corrupt. I know I'm I'm a terrible person. I, 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 I blame it on my Swiss heritage. You know, we just sat there during the war and then all of a sudden we got a bunch of gold and, you know, where did the gold go? Anyways, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great one. Bye.